something like never easy and you know with um, parents or specifically my mom anytime I fall you know she thinks it's because I wasn't taking my medication you yeah. know then paludrin and folic acid was um, was the was that medication yeah, yeah. you have to take you know so they always think try to blame on me oh you're not doing what you meant to do I'm like, taking your really? drugs you're not drinking water exactly so <laughs> You know, then I was young, so I have to agree with them. Mm -hmm. You know, I have to accept whatever they say. So, but now that I'm a bit grown, now I have to be able to tell you that what you think is meant to be a solution is not a solution. Yeah. It's only there to actually kind of um, probably slow it down or just protect you for a bit of time. It's not a cure, so. And then when it's coming, it's going to it's come. come. Yeah, no matter so. what you do. It has been generally observed that most taxi drivers are elderly and generally don't wear glasses. Research has suggested that as we grow older, our eyes begin to gradually degenerate. Therefore, is it possible to opine that aging taxi drivers have solutions to the gradual deterioration of their eyes as they age? At that time, I have problem of eye. When sun go up like this, my eye used to come out water. So I go hospital tire, no work. But later, my grandpapa, Congo, come out my, our native medicine. medicine. So I use them for just three days, final. Now, as I did, I did normal. You, you are not aware that you have a problem, then you cannot seek solution, OK? So uh, most of them that have these um, uh, issues with their eye, of course they do. Some are my own pick. Some uh, will have a cataract, okay? Some will have a glaucoma, which eats the peripheral vision. And then, so some of them, even to the advanced cases, they will have what we call uh, tunnel vision, like you're looking from a hole. So their side uh, vision is peripheral, what we call peripheral vision is bad. So we do not have the luxuries of the 911s or the 199s. All we have is be your brother's keeper. To have to this sad situation, many of us don't know what to do during an emergency. But one thing is certain. There are always spectators. Passers-by. Amateur photographers. And of course, the social media crew. This is where Abed comes in. Abed aims to ensure that in the not so far future, we will have trained volunteers among these spectators in every scene. We want you to be a volunteer, not just a spectator. Being a volunteer takes nothing away from you or your time. You go about your normal activities as usual. However, if you happen to be within the vicinity of an emergency, you can simply act by doing any of the following. Crowd control, CPR, administering first aid, and assisting in firefighting, or even making a simple phone call. It's quite simple and practical. Join us. Join us. Join us. Join us. Let's save lives today, tomorrow, and forever. For more information, Thank you. 